you could recruit any couple or any player to your team, who would you recruit over? Not a half back. <laughs> <laughs> not a half back and definitely not a Kiwi. We've got enough Kiwis now. <laughs> Was there any time where you sort of had some challenges that you needed to overcome? And what would be your advice to these guys about uh, when we face a little bit of adversity? How how do we turn that around? Obviously, there's going to be times when you know it gets hard, and and you're like, oh, like, is it really worth it? And yeah. whatever. But I mean, if you have a love for something, you're going to obviously, you know, put that aside and keep chase keep chasing what you want, like. I look back on it now, like now that I have, you know, days off and, and, and you're in the professional environment, it, it, it makes it so much sweeter, you know, that you've put in the, put in the hard work uh, uh, when you were younger, it makes it a lot sweeter. So if I had to give advice, I'd just be like, yeah, it's going to be hard and it, it's not all handed to you on a silver spoon, you actually have to work for it. What are some sacrifices you have to make to make sure that you actually went about and achieved the goal that you had put out there for yourself? People say that you make sacrifices, but if you love something enough and you want to achieve something enough, um, it's not really a sacrifice on what you do because you just want it so bad. Um, so you can see them as sacrifices or you can just see it as a goal that you're, you're trying to chase. Um, and if it means you, you can't go to parties um, or, or you know um, do other stuff that um, isn't going to help you achieve what you want to achieve, then um, you know it's just because you have a passion for something else that that not many people are fortunate enough to achieve. You know, it's it's not easy to achieve it, but it's certainly um, it's certainly there if, if you wanted it bad enough. How important is like a support network as it's like achieve those goals and like how well are they? You know, my family obviously okay. is probably number one. Family is like probably the biggest um, support of them all. Really, you probably wouldn't get a better one. People you surround yourself yeah, with. People you surround yourself with is a big one. Like. There's a lot of people that you sort of you get along the way that you know you can really tell whether they're going to help you succeed and what you want to pursue or are they going to bring you down. School, we'll uh, we'll join together and uh, wishing them all the best. Give them a clap, give them a thumbs up. Whether way you're doing there, we want it to go really well. Obviously, myself, Tim, and our organisation got you guys a little token of appreciation to hang up somewhere in the school. So. Uh, one of our limited edition jerseys, number 24 of 100, signed by the team. Our symbol there, just to say thank you for your hospitality, uh, providing us world-class facilities that have allowed us to uh, you know, step back into Super Rugby seamlessly and, and put out some really good quality performances. And uh, community is one of our, and family is one of our pillars and one of our values in our organisation. And we certainly felt that from you guys. And uh, yeah, really grateful for all the support and uh, help you guys have given us throughout this period. So thanks again, everyone. Yeah.